Hi, this is Michael from Notionwork, and today I'm going to be showing you how to align and distribute objects in Illustrator. So to access the alignment panel, we want to go up to the window menu and select align. You can access that with my hotkey that I've got set up currently as Shift F7. You can also access it by clicking the align icon in your workspace, um, which looks like two little bars, one smaller, one larger. This is what you'll see by default in the alignment panel. You'll have align objects with six different options, and you'll have distributed objects with six different options. To show extra options, we want to go up to the menu icon over here, click that, and then click show options. This will give us some extra options in terms of being able to distribute spacing, as well as choosing what we want to align to. By default, it will be assigned to align to selection. That's fine for right now. I'm gonna be showing you each of these options align to selection, align to key object, as well as align to artboard. So let's tackle the align objects options first. Let's go ahead and select these objects to give us something to work with. And we'll look first at these three options. These are all horizontal alignment. So we have horizontal align left, horizontal align center, and horizontal align right. Now how Illustrator aligns to selections, it says, okay, what do I have selected and what are my outer bounds? So as we can see here, when we've selected all of these four objects, which I've actually made different sizes to e more easily see the alignment process and how it works, um, we can actually see that there's this outer path that encompasses all of the selection. This is what Illustrator is using to align to. So if we were to align to the center of this path, uh, of, of the selection, it would say, okay, well, this is my outer bound and the center of this is right about there. That would be the center of this selection. And if you were to align to center in the, both the horizontal as well as vertical axis, then it would align everything to here. And I can show you that right now. So let's go over here and let's hit align to center. This is a horizontal align to center, so we'll align all these objects horizontally. Let's go ahead and click this. And now you see that it is now in the center, it has aligned all these objects in the center of that selection. It almost looks like it is aligned to the center of the artboard as well, but that is actually not the case. It has not used that uh, to calculate that. In fact, I can illustrate that by moving these objects off center and then clicking horizontal align center. And you'll notice they've aligned to the center of that selection, but not the center of the artboard. Let's go ahead and hit Command Z again, just to get those back into where they were originally. And let's go ahead and select vertical align center. You can see it vertically aligns the objects centered to the selection. So let's hit Command Z again, and I'll show you these other options here. This is horizontal line left, so it will align all these objects to the left of the selection, which is this line over here. So if we hit that, notice all of the objects jumping over to the left of that selection. Same thing when we hit horizontal line right. Boom. All of them have aligned to the right side of that selection. And if we hit the vertical line top, shazam, they all go up to the top. And same thing if we hit vertical align bottom. Boom, they go all the way to the bottom. So that's pretty much it for align objects with the line to selection selected. If we were to go to uh, distribute objects, uh, we, we can see how, they, how Illustrator distributes objects. <clears throat> now, if we hit vertical distribute top, or vertical distribute center, or vertical distribute bottom, these are all talking about the actual shapes themselves. So vertical distribute top will distribute all of these objects relative to the top of each object. Vertical distribute center will align or distribute all of these objects relative to the center point of each object. And vertical distribute bottom will distribute all of these objects relative to the bottom of all of these objects. And it will do so within the bounds of the selection. So if we were to click vertical distribute top, you'll notice that this object, which defines the very top of the selection, and this object, which defines the very bottom of the, of the selection, will not move. So let's go ahead and click vertical distribute top. And notice now the top of each object is vertically distributed evenly within this selection. So if we were to draw out some rectangles here by hitting the rectangle tool, 
and making sure it's locked to the path, the top of that path. Let's go ahead and drag it down to the other path and notice that the height is 177 pixels about, give or take, uh, 0.67 pixels. Let's drag that there. Let's go ahead and drag out another one to the next top and boom, notice, 177 pixels, 0.67. And if we were to do it again, you'll see the same exact result. 177.67 pixels. So, as I've demonstrated there, let's go ahead and hit Command Z to remove those boxes and set everything back. Distribution distributes objects within a selection, within the bounds of a selection, evenly. So let's go ahead and hit Vertical Distribute Center, and you'll notice that now, it's, if you were to draw rectangles to uh, measure those distances, the centers of each of these objects are now vertically evenly distributed within this selection. Same thing for vertical distribute bottom. So now the bottoms of each of these uh, objects are evenly distributed. Let's go ahead and drag out some rectangles here. So 111, 111, and 111. So pretty simple stuff, but very useful when working with lots of objects or trying to uh, distribute things evenly. Same thing. Same things apply when uh, using the horizontal distribute left, center, and right options. Let's go ahead and hit horizontal distribute left and see how that works. Notice now the left side of each object is evenly distributed. Same thing applies when we hit horizontal distribute center and horizontal distribute right. And you'll notice these aren't moving anymore. And that is coincidentally because of the size that I made these objects, they just work out for each one of those. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So if we hit horizontal distribute left, all of these left sides of these objects should be the same distance apart from each other. Let's drag a rectangle here. So it says 204.67, 204.67, and 204.67. Coincidentally, because of the size of these objects, and it was entirely unintentional when I did this, um, the center points are also the same distance horizontally. So 179.67, and 179.67, <laughs> as well as the right sides of all of these objects, you get the point. So all the same distance, 154.67. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and show you distribute spacing. Uh, that is needed when you click align to key object. So let's go ahead and, and select align key object here. So let's move on to so let's move on to align to key object. So let's go down here to the align to menu and select align to key object. This will automatically select one of the objects in our selection and will embolden it in this lar like larger blue border. You can select with your left click any of these objects without holding any modifier keys like the shift key or the alt key or the control key or the command key and you can just select them without any of those keys and that is then your key object. So then you can align and distribute relative to that object. So let's go ahead and align things to this key object, this small rectangle we have here. Let's go ahead, hit ahead and hit <clears throat> horizontal align center. Now notice all the objects in that selection are now centered to that key object. Same thing applies when we hit vertical align center. Now everything is vertically aligned to this object. Same thing applies for when we distribute in relative to a key object. Let's again select this small rectangle here and hit, uh, let's go ahead and hit horizontal distribute center. Now notice all of these are going to be operating the same. Now notice that when we have align to key object selected in the align to options, and then we try to distribute objects relative to that key object. 
things don't work the same as we would expect them. So when we hit, uh, for instance, horizontal distribute center, and we select this large rectangle on the right, you'll notice everything just centers to that object. And that's because you're saying, hey, I want to distribute everything within the within this object within this object and that does not that does not compute with illustrator it needs two bounds it needs one side and another side in order to provide it with some information even if we were to drag out this rectangle and make it large so everything else fit inside it and then move it to the back so we can actually see that with the command and the left bracket key You'll notice that when we select all of these objects and then select that large rectangle and now hit distribute center, it still acts as though it's aligning center. And same thing if we were to hit distrib horizontal distribute right, horizontal distribute left, vertical distribute bottom, vertical distribute top, or vertical distribute center. They operate the exact same as the alignment. So. Just remember that when you have a key object selected and you hit distribute, it won't operate the same as you'd expect. So let's hit Command Z to move those back to where they were. And let's go ahead and click the key object. And let's now try this distribute spacing options. Now notice that when we have a key object selected, notice when I select this, that this option box now is activated. You can change this parameter. So let's go ahead and hit type in 50 pixels and let's I'll, I'll, I'll illustrate this point. So let's hit the horizontal distribute space and you'll notice now each of these objects is horizontally distributed 50 pixels apart. So if we were to draw little rectangles here you'd notice that this path is 50 pixels wide or the separation, this distribution, that's also 50 pixels wide, as well as this being 50 pixels wide. And let's move on to distribute spacing. In order to use distribute spacing, we need a key object selected. If we select all of these objects and select that key object, we can then specify an amount that we want uh, in between all of these objects and it will use this key object to figure out, okay, I'm going to give, let's type in here, for instance, 50 pixels. I'm going to space all these objects 50 pixels apart, starting with this key object. So let's go ahead and just hit horizontal distribute space. And you'll notice now each of these objects has 50 pixels in between them. You can illustrate this by drawing out some rectangles here. Notice 50 pixels. 50 pixels and 50 pixels. We can do the same thing with the vertical distribute space as well. So let's select this large square on the left and hit vertical distribute space. Now each of these objects will be spaced 50 pixels apart relative to the square. And notice that the key object does not move. When we hit distribute spacing, the key object again does not move because we are not moving, we're not distributing that object, we're distributing everything relative to that object. So again, let's hit Command Z to bring everything back in place. And let's go ahead and move to Align to Artboard. So let's hit select Align to Artboard in the Align to options. And then let's click Horizontal Align Center. And you'll notice all these objects have now been aligned to the center of the selected artboard. And I, select it, I say selected because you may have multiple artboards and it will operate only on the one that you have selected. So let's move these objects off center just to illustrate that point better. Uh, let's hit horizontal line center now again and notice they've all jumped to the center of this artboard. Same thing when we hit vertical line center. Vertical line bottom, vertical line top, horizontal line right, and horizontal line left. So pretty fun stuff. Um, same thing. Uh, uh, that's the same operation when we use distribute objects, and we use the artboard as the reference. So let's hit vertical distribute center. It will vertically distribute all of these objects 
based on the artboard. It'll say, okay, I'm gonna move the topmost object all the way to the top of the artboard. I'm gonna move the bottommost object all the way to the bottom of the artboard. And then I'm gonna use the center point of all these objects to evenly distribute them uh, relative to that top, top object and the bottom object. So if we drag out some rectangles here, we can see that the centers of all these are all evenly distributed at 266.67 pixels. And the same thing applies when we use the horizontal distribute center as well as the right, left, vertical bottom, and vertical top. Same uh, operations as when we align to selection, except it just uses the artboard as opposed to the selection as the bounds to distribute within. That's pretty much it, other than one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, you might be wondering, well, when I've been aligning all of these things, notice when we hit, uh, for instance, vertical line bottom, that it uses the path and not the actual, like, appearance of the object. We're talking including the width of the stroke. So you'll notice that the stroke is actually um, passing the, it's on the outer bounds of the artboard. If we select in this little menu option box here and use preview bounds and we select these objects again and hit vertical align at bottom, notice now that it uses the stroke, the width of the stroke, the visual appearance of the object, if you will, to align the objects. So if we had, uh, for instance, a very large stroke of, let's say, 40 pixels on this box on the right here, select this and hit vertical align bottom, it will then use the actual appearance of the object, the whole object, including the stroke, uh, to align. And that applies for dis distribution as well as well as distribute spacing. So again, if you don't want that to work that uh, in that manner, disable use preview bounds. And then select vertical line bottom or center or top. And you'll notice now the path is being used. So that is it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section or send me an email at hello at notionwork.com. Um, feel free to suggest videos for me to do in the future, as well as um, if you have any insights on things I might have missed or any uh, tips or tricks you have come up in with in your uh, usage of Illustrator or other programs. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.